Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shelby here. Today's video is going to be a purple smoky eye. And sorry I have to record the intro and um, the outro because I kind of forgot to record it. So, first off I'm going to start by taking the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in the color Milk. And then I'm going to be putting that all over my eye and to act as an eyeshadow base. And I already have the tape laid down so I can get that defined cut wing, you know, like so it's perfect. And then after that, after I blend it out, I'm going to be putting a normal cream colored eyeshadow on to my lid to act as a barrier so nothing creases. eyeshadow on my lid I'm gonna be taking an orangish brownish color to act as a transition shade so all the colors just blend seamlessly together next I'm gonna be taking the Morphe 35F palette and I'm gonna be taking that black color all the way at the bottom and I'm gonna be using that as my crease color and I'm just gonna be applying that everywhere and it's gonna be really messy because the whole point of a smoky eye is the blend so the first like time you apply the black you don't have it doesn't have to be precise or anything sorry I can't talk so yeah just apply it all over your lid and then after you're done applying that just blend that shit out Next I'm going to be taking this random Wet n Wild palette I found in my drawer and I'm going to be using that on top of the black because I felt like it needed a little bit more purple so I'm just going to be putting that on and then I'm going to be blending the two colors together. <laughs> I'm then going to be taking the brush I'm going to use for my lid color and I'm going to be spraying it with my um, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just to get the brush wet and I'm going to be taking these two purples from the Morphe 35F palette and I'm just going to be putting them all over my lid and I decided to use more of that first purple that I showed you instead of the second purple because the second purple was more reddish than purple so that's why I decided to use more of that first purple. And after I'm done putting the lid color on, I'm going to be blending all of the colors together so it's smoky and really sultry, and so it looks like perfect. Now I'm going to be taking this white color and I'm going to put it in the middle of my lid just to add like a little highlight and I realized after I did this that I didn't really like it so you can go without doing this if you like. Now for the winged eyeliner I'm going to be taking my NYC liquid liner and I'm just going to be putting that on as a wing. I ended up not recording the rest of this because it was really hard to record without going out of frame so yeah that's why I don't record the rest of it. Now it's time to remove that tape so you get that crisp wing. And if you could hear my dog in the background I'm so sorry he is whining right now. And ignore my face I'm singing in a lot of this video because my playlist was just on fire today. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now before lashes, I'm just gonna be applying a thin layer of mascara to coat my lashes and ignore my mascara face. I know it's not attractive, but yes. <laughs> Today for lashes, I'm going to be taking the Coco Lashes in Queen Bee. I was going to use my Goddess Lashes from Coco Lashes, but I lost them. And I'm so sad, but don't worry, I ordered two more pairs, so woo, they should be coming soon. And so I'm just applying glue, well, eyelash glue onto my eyelashes, and then I'm just blowing them to let them get tacky, and then I'm going to put them on. Now I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation and I had to speed up this clip because this clip was literally three minutes long of me putting on foundation so yeah I sped it up to four times so yeah. <laughs> and I'm just using my knockoff Artiste brush that I love to death and then on my forehead I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to be putting that everywhere and blending it down my neck so I'm not, I don't have that harsh foundation line. putting a concealer that's a little lighter than my skin tone and I'm gonna be putting it on all the high points of my face so under my eyes my nose my cupid's bow and my forehead and on any blemishes I have just to conceal them and then I'm gonna blend it all out so it just blends into my skin perfectly <laughs> taking my airspun transition powder and I am so sad I dropped more than half of this all over my carpet if you follow me on snapchat you would have seen it it was everywhere and I'm so sad but at least it's cheap so I could reorder it easily now while I'm waiting for my face to bake I'm gonna be taking the NYX lip lingerie in 03 lace detail and I'm just gonna be putting that on my face not my face my lips <laughs> And then you just see me right now just dancing because I'm waiting for my bake to set. So this is like a five minute clip sped up to like eight times. So yeah, ignore me singing. It's just, yeah. <laughs> Now that my face is done baking, I'm just going to brush away the excess powder and then brush the excess powder like into my skin, the parts that I didn't bake, so that way I don't get oily anywhere, and so I don't get creasy anywhere, and yeah. For contour today, I'm just going to use my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit, I mean like what's new here, and I'm just going to be contouring my cheekbones, the sides of my forehead, and underneath my chin. For blush today, I was just using whatever was left over on that blush brush, and then I'm, I'm going to be setting my face with the Urban Decay All, -Nighting, All Nighter Setting Spray, and I'm just going to be letting that soak in, and then while that, my face is still a little bit wet from that setting spray, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia glow kit and that glow and I'm going to be taking those three colors and I'm just going to be putting them all over my face so I glow to the gods and that's the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe and come back next week for a new video bye